Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jarrell. I've seen a topic being discussed recently online, which I think is quite interesting. People are discussing Donkey Kong Bonanza 2, which has just launched on Nintendo Switch, particularly in regards to the upscaling. The game is not using DLSS, which the Switch 2 has hardware for. It's designed to use DLSS, but the game is instead using FSR for upscaling. People are saying that this is bad. People are saying, oh, this is because it was originally a Switch game and then they just brought it over to the Switch 2. I've seen a number of channels that just focus on uh, harboring hatred towards uh, Nintendo, so it doesn't matter how good anything is. Uh, these channels uh, are just people want to go into the comments and just hate on Nintendo. So if you want to hate on a brand, that's totally cool. There's nothing wrong with that. You're absolutely allowed to do that. If you want to just enjoy something, you're absolutely allowed to just enjoy something just because you like it. Don't let other people tell you that you can't enjoy something. Don't let other people tell you that you can't hate something. Look, this is the same thing as a baseball team, a football team, a basketball team. Sometimes you just hate the other team. You're going to cheer for your team, even if your team sucks and messes up for a few years or decades. Hey, cheer for your team, man. And then sometimes... You know, you just enjoy the game. Sometimes you just enjoy the sport. I was over at a friend's place the other day. I think we're going fishing next month. And we were just enjoying some fine whiskey and watching baseball. And man, at that point, you know, it was the All-Stars. And it's like, look, it's not about the teams. It's about the All-Stars. Just enjoying it, you know. So um, with the discussion of DLSS versus FSR, People are saying, oh, it's it's bad, it's a downgrade, it's worse. That's not so simple a situation. So with DLSS, it is not a perfect solution. There are moments when DLSS looks quite bad. And this is just, that's just how it is. That's how the technology works. When the image is still, if the camera is not moving, if there's not a lot of movement, DLSS looks just fine. The problem is when there's a high amount of camera movement or character movement, especially when there are details like hair, fur, and particle effects, they tend to look very bad. There's a screen door artifact um, that visually is messy. I'd say it's ugly. That's just how it is. Because the developers, the artists, have no actual control over that. The clearest example is when you take a look at the trailers we have seen for Final Fantasy VII Remake on the Switch 2. I'll put a link to my analysis video on that, but that looks bad when the camera is in movement and when Cloud, say for example, Cloud's moving and you see his hair and it looks like a mess. It's just a disaster. Uh, there are analysts online that claimed, oh, it's just a low resolution. Oh, it's bad. Switch 2 can't handle high resolution. That has nothing to do with it. It's not about high resolution or low resolution textures, the DLSS upscaling is not very good at processing the image when it is in a state where there's a lot of camera movement, a lot of high action, a lot of character movement. So again, I'll put a link to the video if you would like to see the analysis on that. So I believe the reason, I believe it was a conscious choice to not use DLSS for Donkey Kong Bonanza. In Donkey Kong Bonanza, there is a huge amount of movement. The camera, it's constantly moving back and forth. This is a game based around mobility and movement. The camera is constantly swinging around. It's moving. It's following DK. There is a huge amount of particle effects. You're breaking the terrain. Uh, and there will be a discussion at another time, probably in the next video or, or after, where I'll be discussing the frame rate drops for Donkey Kong. But DLSS would make this game look worse. When it's in movement, it would be messy. There'd be a lot of visual artifacts. It would be noisy. It would look sloppy. When it's still, when the image is still, it'll just look fine, you know, but it's when there's a high amount of movement. And this is a game where there is constantly a high amount of movement. I believe this is a conscious choice. Aside from that, there is a performance cost. And when I say cost, I don't mean that you're spending, you're not spending money, not this stuff, right? Your hardware, your game engine, it has a rendering budget, has a processing budget, 
and anything that you display, anything that you process in the game has a cost. And uh, analysts have described that DLSS has a higher performance cost than FSR. So FSR, if that's used, it's more performant and it negatively impacts the frame rate less. DLSS apparently. I don't have a Switch 2 dev kit, so I am not able to run my own tests and verify the situation. We've seen people online saying, oh, it's not as easy as just, oh, it's, it's really hard to, to just add DLSS to a game. Whether that's true or not, I'm not going to chime in on that, but we have a lot of uh, armchair experts in YouTube comment section saying either one, oh, this is just a Switch game and they copy and pasted it to Switch 2. I've shipped titles on 3DS, Wii U, and Switch, and I can tell you very confidently there's, there's, there's no alternative universe. There's no variant universe where Donkey Kong Bonanza could have run on the Switch in any way. It's not even close. A lot of it has to come down to the CPU, the processing budget, the RAM. The game itself has destructible environments that, that require a huge amount of memory. So that is going to make it basically impossible to run on the Switch. The Switch would crash if it tried to run this game. That's just how it is. It's the frame rate would bottom out. There's a very high chance that there'd be memory fragmentation. Um, there's, it's, it takes a lot to run a game like Donkey Kong Bonanza. So the fact that it runs, um, you know, mostly fine. There are frame rate drops. Again, I'll discuss it in another video. So that's what I wanted to describe uh, and explain and discuss with you. So uh, is this a topic that interests you, the DLSS versus uh, FSR upscaling? I believe it's a conscious choice for performance reasons and for visual reasons. So that concludes the segment for Donkey Kong Bonanza. Now, as you know, uh, with every Sunkran video, we have reached the point of the segment where we do our pizza review. Today, I will be taking a look at the market side savory breakfast biscuit crust pizza. So again, um, this is one of the finest pizzas I've ever had. You purchase this from the shop, you bake it yourself in your oven. And so for the Sun Grand Pizza Review today, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you now, this is a 10 out of 10. I do not know how I was able to live my life up to this point without having market side savory breakfast. Now this is described, this is a medium size. This was about nine to $10 at a Walmart. I'm not sure what other shops you can get this at. Now this is described as a pizza crust, a biscuit crust pizza topped with scrambled egg and cooked breakfast crumbles with a peppered cream gravy. Now, if you enjoy a country breakfast, a diner breakfast, if you have never been to the States, if you don't live in the States, you may not be able to appreciate the description of this meal fully, but this is like a diner breakfast. When you take a look at the crust of this pizza, when you first look at it, it is a bit concerning because it looks robust and thick, and you would think this pizza crust is going to be too much. It's going to be heavy. It's not going to uh, balance out with the other ingredients of the pizza, but this is not pizza crust. This is biscuit. So if you have ever been to a diner and ordered biscuits and gravy, if you've ever gotten the biscuits from KFC in the United States, that is what the crust of this pizza is. If you have KFC in other countries like Australia, the biscuits are disgusting, cheap bread rolls. They are not the same thing. So with this particular pizza, I was already impressed right off the bat, just on the balance of the toppings on opening. Always, when you take a look at the pizza on opening, you need to analyze the balance of the toppings. My concerns were that there would not be enough sauce. I was not sure what sort of sauce because I expect to see pizza sauce on a pizza. But when it baked up, I understood the point of this pizza. And on my first bite, the crust was soft and crumbly. And I understood that the gravy on there is the same as the country gravy that you get on biscuits. There is a 
a very good amount of cheese, not too much, not too little, but what really impressed me were these sausages. These are not cheap run-of-the-mill sausage. These were strong and punchy. They were a little bit salty, but very savory. And it balanced out the rest of the ingredients. So basically you can taste the gravy, you taste the cheese, and those, the cheese works as a little bit of a, a sharp tartness. The crust itself is the palate cleanser that prepares you to really appreciate the rest of the ingredients. You have that nice, warm, savory creaminess that just primes your palate. It gets your mouth ready to enjoy what's, what's strong here. So those are the easy flavors, right? You're enjoying a flavor easily. Once you get a bite of the sausage, oh man, that is the punch of flavor that you need and it takes it all to the top of the mountain. I had two slices of this. It's very filling to you are going to want to share this pizza with your friends or family. Again, that is the market side savory breakfast biscuit crust pizza. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my analysis on Donkey Kong Bonanza. I hope you enjoyed the Sun Grand pizza review as I do with every single Sun Grand video. Take care everyone. Be well. Grab yourself one of these pizzas. They were fantastic. I'm going to get another one. I've got to share this with friends. I've got to share this pizza with everyone I know. Take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Be well.